Okay, this is really interesting. We don't need a left tackle. We got Donald Penn. Raiders star Donald Penn suspect in domestic violence incident. Apparently his wife uh, called the police on him. And they had some sort of a fight. He slapped her on the ass. She didn't like that. Then he poured a drink over her. And since that time, she released a statement saying nothing happened or there was no physical altercation. Um, exactly how, how did she make this phone call? I, I don't see any information. Um, did she call 911? Because when the police arrived, he was gone. Now, he, this is Alden Smith-esque. So... You know, she could be charged for file, for uh, misuse of uh, 911. And they haven't released anything yet, but I guarantee it's coming out. This just came out now. This is brand new. It was on the ble It was on um, silver and black ply plied, silver and bra black plaid, silver and black pride as well. And some of the comments are pretty stupid. You know, comments like, you know, uh, it was just a harmless drink poured over. Guess what? Domestic violence is taken very seriously by police. He could find himself arrested still, despite the fact she retracted his state, her statement. Or whatever statement it was. Like I said, TMZ will definitely be getting hold of a 911 call due to the Freedom of Information Act. His days were already numbered anyway. John Gruden has already made it perfectly clear he was not too happy with him holding out last year to get extra money and then he gets hurt. And missing time, training camp, he's going to miss all of training camp. He's probably going to miss games if, if he's even still on the roster. Then there's the speculation on um, on Silver and Black Pride. If the Raiders would uh, be going to a zone blocking scheme. And that Donald Penn really isn't suited for that. This isn't his first like uh, incident too. Remember with the fan last year that... Try to antagonize them. I mean, that these things start to add up, and then they start to get serious, and then police start to get involved. He left the scene after she called. She probably called. She probably called while he was there, right in front of him. And that's why he left. But anyway, he's. You got to look over the last couple of years where, okay, he gave up one sack two years ago, but it caused Derek Carr's leg to get broke. And then last year, he holds out for money just after, was it 10, 10 months after signing a new deal? And he uh, gets a two year extension. And so he wants extra money. And he gets hurt again. And there was the all the protest and crap like that. And he seemed to be one of the ringleaders. And someone in that locker room, this was leaked, said that uh, if he wants to stand alone, then he can play alone or something like that. I wonder if it was him. He seems to be the more loudmouth one on the offensive line. Uh, Gabe Jackson, eh, I'm, I'm not seeing it from him. Awesome Melly, no, I'm not really getting it from him. Uh, Rodney Hudson, would he say that? You know, if I had to be a betting man and this, if this was true, I would say it was Donald Penn. But there's more writing on the wall. He's 35 years old. He's 35 years old. He does struggle sometimes with speed rushes. And... They could be going to a different style of offense where the run game is concerned. I mean, they brought 
they brought Colton uh, uh, Miller in for a reason. He's a big, tall, athletic offensive uh, tackle. They brought Parker in for the same exact reason. Watch some zone blocking. Watch some uh, pin and pull uh, blocking. And watch what those tackles do. Those tackles don't sit there on run plays. They're swinging out. And they're um, engaging linebackers. It's a lot of trickery. And it's probably some place the Raiders, go the Raiders are going to go. I'm no expert on zone blocking, but it's part of this whole equation. And now he's got a domestic uh, violence uh, problem. I don't care if the wife, this happens all the time, where uh, the husband hits the wife, she calls 911, and when the police get there, she says nothing happened. He throws her down a flight of stairs, and... And when the police get there, nothing happened. Uh, I don't know if, wh exactly what happened here. But anytime something happens, it's not good. I don't care if it was a drink just poured over her head. That's assault. That's assault. They, they take it very seriously. Let me explain something to people about the police. Because, uh... A lot of people have this this idea of the police that they're there's some sort of independent agency and they're they're there to protect the people. No, they're actually there to take reports for the insurance company. It's really that part that's part of that structure of society. It's connected with the insurance company. They're there for liability. If she gets murdered, that is a liability. Now the an insurance company going to have to pay some money off on her. She has some sort of life insurance policy. Um, all sorts of other things can happen in domestic violence situations. Houses can get burned down. That's a that's a common thing to happen. It happened in my city. Guy uh, lit the whole house on fire while they were in the house. He's been charged with... It was an apartment building too, I think. Actually, not a house. Um, there were a lot of people in there. He's been charged with like, like 11 counts. Of attempted murder <laughs> oh, in Massachusetts. You're not going to get the death penalty, but you're going to get a long sentence. But because of that, because, because of the possibility of what can happen, they're not going to take this lightly. And I'm assuming, I'm just assuming this is California. I didn't read this too well. Does it even say where it is? That's weird. You think that would be like one of the first things? I mean, that's that's some of the problems I have with modern day journalism. I'm no journalist. I'm just a fan, just voice of my opinion. But they don't even sometimes put the uh, date um, on things. We're just supposed to know where Donald Penn lives. I'm assuming it's California. But this is not a good thing for him. And he was obviously pissed off when they drafted Colton M Miller. Colton Miller is similar to some other people uh, drafted. Nowadays, if you're drafted very high up, or just even the first round, first couple of rounds, you're expected to start. Now, it's been assumed that he's going to start at right tackle, but that's not, an, that's not a certainty. Donald Penn is going to have to uh, zone block that he doesn't do too well. He didn't do too well last year on it, but it's, it's more complex than just him. It involves so many other positions and all work in, in unison. But he's going to have to compete with these other guys who are pieces of clay. <laughs> Probably more willing to learn. 
this is not looking good for him. I can tell you right now, anyone wants to dismiss this because his wife came out and this is a non-story. Now, this isn't a non-story. This is the beginning of a story. This could e easily get more um, involved here with the league getting involved with their uh, personal conduct policy. Really, he could be suspended by the league as well as being injured, not showing up. I, I My personal feeling is he's not going to make the cut. He's too old. He's costing too much. And they're just going to cut, cut bait. Now, you can cry all you want over that, but facts are the facts. The rate is uh, moving in a new direction. And they brought in a lot of new people. And they are cutting bait on a lot of people that were there recently where the Raiders went 12 and 4 and they were part of that whole thing. But, you know, they're just going to make changes. There's a new sheriff in town. And I don't care if he was, he coached uh, Penn when he first started. Th that should tell you something how old he is when they're saying like Chucky is long in the tooth. Well, so is he, but Chucky doesn't have to go on the field. Chucky doesn't have to deal with uh, now Chubb and Von Miller. <laughs> when it rains, it pours, I guess, as they say. But this is a uh, pretty uh, outrageous news coming out. But it it could be expected because he sees the writing on the wall.